welcome back guys i have another collective message <clears throat> i'm going to just kind of shuffle and we'll just see whatever comes out let's go ahead and pray father we thank you for removing all blockages and hindrances from out of our life Jesus, I thank you for, for binding and rebuking the enemy, for defeating our enemies for us, for revealing all things that are hidden and, re, and removing all things that are not good, that, are, that were in our lives or in our sphere of influence. I thank you for your blood, Jesus. I pray that you would cover this reading. I bind and rebuke demonic energy or anything trying to interfere with this reading. I reverse every curse and return every negative eye or evil eye back to the sender. Holy Spirit, I thank you for your peace, your love, your just, <clears throat> your just ways and who you are. And I pray that you speak through me and move through me in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Hi, collective. All right, let's just go ahead and we're just going to see what message the Holy Spirit has for you. I'm just going to go through the cards instead of like doing like a normal spread. <clears throat> so let me like shuffle it a little bit. Holy Spirit, will you please? Speak clearly and accurately. What is the message that the collective needs to know? <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, so somebody has been like sitting back and watching you. This person is like almost obsessed with what's going on with you in your life. They see you as being so entertaining, but at the same time, they take this very like, I don't know. They take this very um, opposing stance against you because of, you know, the things that have taken place for you in your life. The, um, you know, the series of events that really show that your life has been marked by the Lord. Like you've been marked, in, you know, for favor. This person was really wavering and kind of on the fence. This is somebody that played the role about why you were no longer in their life. Like this is somebody that was really, you know, wailing and moaning and complaining about the loss of you. But really this person had a very, very mischievous hand in the fact that you are no longer in this, in their life or in a relationship with them. <clears throat> Thank you, Holy Spirit. What else? You've transcended past this. You're not even interested. Like you guys are not even on the same vibration anymore. This person is still in this vibration where they'll do this. Like things just go dark in a certain way where this person will, um, they have a tendency to sacrifice the people that they love. Like someone that is near and dear to them, they will do something that is very terrible. And then they'll play like they're the martyr or something like that. And they end up, you know, like, oh my gosh, how do I replace this? How do I do this? But it's like, they re they did it the first time around, but they just want to play crazy. But it's like who they are has been illuminated because who you are has stepped in to whatever environment this is. <clears throat> this person could have really been like, there could have been messages related to this person. They could have been guided about something with you, some type of choice they made with you. But you know, you've transcended and you've moved over, you've crossed into a space where your road ahead looks very peaceful. It, you know, like you have a certain level of public protection on you. Even when you are being blamed, um, well, when I say public protection, so like there's things that have happened to you openly and then there has been the result of it where you are highly protected, where there's really something here that protects and blocks you. Um, and it's like people are starting to see that, that you have all of this angelic help and all of this energy on you. And it's because you choose to take the right path in life. You, you get this assistance right here. And this must have been seen because there was something that you said or you did 
um, that really, you know, signified who you were and what your beliefs were. And then it's like all hell broke loose because of it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, it's like you have the ability to shed light on situations and on, on things. And when you do this and you have this ability to shed this light on things, you were able to shed a light on what was going on in your situation as well, that you were being targeted. Yeah, it's like somebody wanted to cause total destruction and confusion in your life. They wanted everything to be off of balance for you. You know, you were really being wrongfully attacked. <clears throat> It's because of who you are. It's because of the way that you're able to express yourself. It's like you have this way of emotional expression or you know how to really grasp the attention of other people and you can capture their attention. You stir up emotional feelings in people that, you know, are very long lasting. And this messes with this person's head. They don't like that. They, this makes them feel like, who they are is not good enough. Like, I don't know. And then this person really feels like they made you, they blamed you for everything and made you the scapegoat, you know, so to speak. They put all of this blame and all of it, and they feel like they may not even be able to find a way back out of this situation that they got into because of what you do because of who you are, because of your ranking in the spirit, because of your um, the purity of your soul in, in a way where you are dedicated and committed to guiding other people out of, you know, dangerous situations. Like you would be the one to say, okay, no, 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 that's not the way that you want to go because down there, that's a slippery slope down there. Or, you know, there's some quicksand over there. You don't know, you know, like you're the one to always say something. If someone is going in the wrong way, if there's something that's not you know happening that's right that's right <clears throat> thank you holy spirit okay <laughs> Yeah, this person is really contemplating why they made this so, um, you know, like so confidently. They 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 projected this energy or they were very confident in doing this and just being very formal and open about this um choice that they made. This was their decision. You could have been in a connection with this person in the past and it ended um it ended leaving you kind of like left alone you know in a situation where you just you know you chose to stay single and it's like there there's something that really elevated you Or this is this person wanting you to feel like something had really died in your life in the past and, you know, wanting you to feel like you are left out or you're left behind or you're unnoticed or unseen or unprotected or uncovered, basically, you know, and the divine feels like you are, you know, you are a love of the divine. The divine loves you. The divine cares about you. The divine, you know, you are a divine lover and you're loved by the divine. This is why there was something that was really just elevated you so that you can pass over this obstacle effortlessly. You overcame this effortlessly because of how you're seen. This person could really be, um, they could be noticing now like they're, um, like they're angel guides or this is like the angels and, you know, angel spirit guides are really telling this person, pay attention to this. Like they want this person to really be heavily focused on this, um, what they chose to do. And it's like their be messages are being relayed to them in regards to this choice that they made. Because they're being, it's like really being shown to this person that they had other options. This is just how they chose to handle the situation. This was their, you know, this was their final conclusion. That's was their, and it's like, they're being told now, you need to have more patience and understanding. You need to use more discernment. 
and you need to think outside the box. You need to not be such a follower or you need to not have this group thinking. You need to have more of an individual mind, individual um, way of thinking, following your intuition, you know, even if it makes you kind of like the oddball. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Anything else? Okay. This person sees you now like they see you as someone that not just knows how to create the right, you know, create the right things in your life that are going to heal you in all aspects. They feel like you have some form of formula for every aspect of your life is in regards to like how to heal that. And this has created so many gifts and talents within you. It's like they see very clearly that you are headed for international trade. You're headed for, <clears throat> you know, like foreign trade and, and like a very wide range of success. And they see that, you know, additionally, they see you as someone that is acknowledged as having a very high moral standard, being very kind, very polite, very likable, being very consistent in who you are, being very solid in your character, very firm in your character. Like this is, you know, who you've chosen to be and this is what you're going to continue to do. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They, they feel like there's something about you that really drew them in. And it's like what, what drew them in about you was really to their um, to their demise and their detriment. Because they see this as like when you drew them in, they felt like you were just kind of like partly human. Like they, they looked at your ability. They looked at your skill set. They looked at your... Um, the glow, the God that you have in you. They looked at all of that and they felt like, I don't know, they misjudged you and they feel really lost. Like they feel like they lost something that is extremely valuable. Like your, your behavior is very inspirational to other believers you know, they wanted it to be something that it wasn't. They're very repentant right now. They feel lost. They feel like they lost you. They lost access to so much uniqueness. Um... They really could look at you, collective, like you're part um, mystical creature, almost like female. Like if you're a woman, you're part siren and you're still part human. But the other part of your human side is very, they could, you know, it's very pure and upright. They might even see you in two different, you know, like you could have a sense of duality to you. I mean, we all do. We all have like our, our dark and our light sides, but you know, or this is something that, yeah, you would be very capable of moving in this energy if you wanted to pull people or if you wanted to lure someone into their demise or something like that, male or female, but you don't operate in that energy. And it's like, this person got lost in seeing that. And they really wanted that to be just it about your character, but that's not it. Your character goes far beyond that. Like you do have this duality to you, but at the end of the day, you're someone that will be there for them no matter what. In this, like, even if nobody else is like wanting to be there for this person, you would be there for them and you would bring healing. Whether you're in a dark space, you know, partly in a dark space or not. This could be someone that really felt like they, um, their movement like how they moved, how they wanted to, you know, either run towards excitement or they wanted to act like they had to handle so much responsibility or if this person was just on some type of journey and just this quest, you know, to find self or, you know, whatever it was, they could be hiding, you know, someone could be running from you. They could be hiding some sense of illness or sickness. There could really be multiple things. 
444, right? When I said that you're highly protected collective because, um, you know, God's rejection or, or any type of rejection, you have to always remember that God is protecting you. And it's like the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. The Lord is ordering our steps. So when we experience rejection in certain areas of our lives, we have to remember that, God is also protecting us in that there could be a reason, you know, a, a very, very good reason why you're not supposed to be a part of something. But this person feels like, you know, whether they ran because they had health issues, regardless of what it was, they conducted themselves in a derogatory way. Like they did not, the, the level that they went to in regards to what they would do for money or who they paid money for, you know, sexual favors or what they did, you know, they did sexual favors to get money or it was just whatever. It just felt like a holiday when they can just take advantage of people. Like you never, you know, like this goes really, really deep when this person sits back and they really think about this. And it's just like, that could even be celebrating you going your separate way from them because this person doesn't see that for you. And they've seen this in stalking you. But ultimately, what I was going to say originally is they hated that they kept running in and out because they felt like they had some type of psychic connection with you. Like they felt like you guys were some mirror soulmates or twin flame or something even, you know, more passionate. You know, but this is very cerebral. Like you guys were had a way of really exchanging, you know, passion, thoughts, emotions, like this person ran away from it, but this could also be someone like they get really excited and hyped up and, you know, they, they don't know how to control their, their movements or their actions, you know, like, um, like I said, it could be mental health or something too. You know, this person could really get very anxious and they could get in a space of anxiety once they feel that they've met someone that is supposed to be in their life, that's supposed to be a part of their out their life outcomes. This could make them feel very nervous and anxious, you know. There's multiple reasons why this person could have run, uh, ran away. But it's like, they're not going to them running makes them feel even worse about the fact that they can't deny that they had some type of um spiritual connection with you that was really telepathic it was really like this was like an un invisible mirroring of energy with this you know and i also see the drunkard out here again too so, you know, someone just kind of abused something and they partied. Like they drank a lot, they smoked a lot, they snorted a lot. They, you know, they just felt intoxicated when they can control situations or who they're hanging out with, or they just, you know, wrapped up in the attention that they got or something. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What else? This person feels like, you know, everything that's happened in their life. Wait, hold on before I say. <laughs> oh, man. They feel like everything that they've done in their life has just given them one outcome. Them feeling, you know, disgustingly used in, in like they sold their body or they paid for bodies and, you know, like they sit and stalk you in the background watching how nothing is, there's no activity between the two of you. There's nothing. Or it's like they see you not doing anything sexually with anyone. They feel really bad. They feel terrible. They feel like this is them paying the price for what they, for running away from you the way that they did because they cut off this power source. They cut off this divine connection that you guys had and that you guys shared together. You guys had a very, very intimate connection and you didn't even have to touch for this, a lot of this. And if you did, it was really, really like crazy how, you know, amazing the connection was. But it's like they see this as the result of their actions previously. 
just abruptly like gathering their things and leaving you. But why, Holy Spirit, do they care? I'm hearing it in my head and I wasn't saying it out loud. So sorry. Okay. So this person is like really stalking you now because there's no connection between you guys anymore. Like what you guys had before that had any level of life left in it is totally done and dead. And all they can do is try and stand in some sense of pride or ego in the background. Like they're still being very cocky, but that's for themselves because they know that you can't see them. So it's like, they still feel insecure to a space where they have to put on this arrogance, even though they're, they're physically not even seen by you. And it's because of the way that this connection ended and there's nothing left in this. So, you know, they feel really abrasive. Like they feel like, but yeah, um, there's no activity here. And they see that you haven't had any type of activity or any type of intimacy or anything like that. And they are mad. They don't like it that this is done because they appreciate who you are as a chaste male or female. They respect you that you know how to pull yourself back and abstain from doing things or taking part in things that are really going to make you feel compromised, you know? And they see this as a consequence from running away from you. They feel like this is going to affect future generations for them. This is going to affect the, the power and the efficacy of these future generations. The, this connection, this soul connection, this intimate divine connection that you guys had, you know, there was like a certain level of um, devotion. There was a certain level of service to one another. There was a certain level of um, commitment. And, you know, there was so much when, when this connection really got into this space where you guys had this, con you know, this, um, telepathic kind of way, the psychic connection, it was, you know, like this is the type of connection where it's really easy to adore the person that you're with or the person that you're in this type of connection with, because you see so much of yourself in them. And vice versa. But yeah, they feel like, you know, they broke this. They broke this connection. This cord was was essentially cut because it just can't travel everywhere this person goes. And this person went empty. You know, they didn't carry anything. They just took themselves and their ideas and their excitement. And they went ro running towards whatever it is that they were running towards. You know, just reference back to the examples that I gave before. But it's like they see that they turn their back on you and they went towards something kind of empty hearted and just half, you know, thought out or whatever, just to experience or say what, whatever they are going to be able to say that they experienced or they witnessed or whatever. Um, or that there was their health or they couldn't handle this emotionally. It's going to be something they see that you came into reconciliation with yourself, like both of your halves of who you are reconciled and you become this very whole individual. And it's because you've been on this spirit quest asking, you know, the divine for assistance. And this is like making this person really sad because now that they remember they're really remembering who you were to them. They remember your innocence in all of this. And all they can do is remember it as though it's just passed on and dead. And, and it's like all they still have left is your innocence. This person made a deal. This is like they made a deal with a dark force or they made a deal with, you know, two or more people. And they really sat down and thought about this. This was supposed to be beneficial for everybody involved. And this had something to do with them trying to intervene in your chosen path. It's like people came together, although you were innocent, you know, they sit and they don't want to say anything about this. They just look all sad and despondent because they remember now that this is dead and gone that you were very innocent in this and you may have had to pay. No, you did pay a price for things that you didn't have anything to do with. And it's because of their dirty deals. They wanted your chosen path. 
They saw that you had a space that was already perfectly cut and, and mapped out for you. There was lights and markers, you know, all along the way. And they didn't like that. They wanted to really affect this. So this could be somebody, you know, like I said, this could be somebody that really made a deal with the dark, with the dark entity about your chosen path. They could have done some type of moon magic or they did something outside and with the with the water or something like that when you split up. I don't know. You guys went two different ways. Yeah, you went on a spirit quest. This person. <sighs> wow. I'm hearing the Holy Spirit say you would really celebrate if you knew how deep this offer was. If you knew to the level of wickedness that this person was trying to offer you up. You would really be in a space of jubilation where you are celebrating that no weapon that was formed against you was able to prosper. It could have, it was formed, but it did not prosper. Yeah, the Lord says you're justified. This is somebody that was really hoping to make your journey difficult. They sent a lot of dark energy towards you. Ooh, we, and look at them now. They are seeking forgiveness so hard. This person took this risk though. They could have even celebrated in advance. Like they were so happy. They thought they really destroyed something for you and your life, your life path or your life purpose or something like that. Because they, you know, they saw you as being, they thought that you being enchanting and you being interesting and beautiful or handsome or, you know, being able to manifest or being able to really call things out in your life, you know, like you know how to really invest in yourself and get these great results. They thought that it went a lot deeper than what you said. Yeah, but this person cannot recover from this. They won't be able to recover from this. And this could really be this person stepping in this energy and, and it's like the Holy Spirit is saying it again. It went so much deeper than what you even see on the surface. Like this went really deep. And now this person is not going to be able to, um, re you know, they cannot revitalize this. Not even a defibrillator can rebirth this person, can, can awaken anything that has died or what's been sent back to this person. Dang. Yeah, so it's like the dark energy that they wanted to sow uh, in your life, these, you know, all of these evil seeds they wanted to sow in your life, it went so deep that it just got really dark and murky. The Lord said that this has been destroyed in your life and it will not be reborn again. This, this will not be revived. It's done. Any cycle of this picking up momentum after a while or anything, you don't have to worry about that because this person is really standing in this energy. And this was a, a whore. Let me tell you, this was someone that did not handle their self in a proper way. I can't keep it up there that long because of YouTube, but this person's heart is empty. They were trying to offer you up and then come cheesing in your face to reunite with you and then confess, you know, they were stuck. They didn't really know which way to go. You know, they were, but no, this person abused their power. They wanted you out in the wilderness. They were grieved over your gifts, your talents, your, your intuition, your ability to talk and engage with so many different people. When they went and looked at themselves in introspection, they saw that they had so many people in and out of their energy that it made them feel sick to think that you are, you know, sitting somewhere and being in right standing with God or right fully behaving or whatever. This really messed them up. This put this person in like a, a, a sense of purgatory. That's why my nose be itching really bad. That's why this person can't stop. You know, yeah, no.
Hold on, where's that card that I saw? Because the word just left my mouth. Oh, yeah. This is why they're in purgatory. Because they wanted to make your journey hard. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They wanted to make your journey hard. But they're only in a holding cell. Because it's it, final judgment is on its way. Okay? Oh, that was the last reading. Oops. <laughs> I feel like it's just continuing just in a different way. My internet has been down, guys. Like, I haven't been able to upload my um, videos that I've recorded for today. They've said they've been trying to fix it, like, for the longest. So, once it is back and running, I will make sure all these are uploaded. And so, sorry about that. If you guys have been looking for videos today, they've just been kind of delayed a little bit. But, yeah, I really hope this helps you guys. Um, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.